Tell me honestly guys, don't you find yourself confused as far as toners are concerned, whether to use it or not, or is it even effective? And if it is, which one to use? So stick around for some time, I've got something to share. Hi guys, I'm Among and welcome to Involve Evolve. I aim to provide best information regarding health and beauty. So in case you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I upload. Now let's quickly jump on today's topic which is toners. So what are toners? I like to divide toners into three categories. One is your hydrating toners, which, are, which we are discussing today. Second is your resurfacing toner, which are exfoliating toners. And third one is stripping one. Now stripping one is the one which is alcohol based. As you know, astringents, remember, we used to use them. Those are stripping toners. So make sure you never ever buy a toner which is alcohol based. So ingredients become very important in every skincare product you buy, as I always say. Second one is exfoliating one, the resurfacing acids. Now exfoliating toners are my favorite. So very soon I'll be making a video on that. What are they? You must have heard of lactic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, mandelic, all these acids. Now they are the ones in liquid form which are acid based. So they exfoliate your skin like a death skin on the face and they work magically on your face. The third ones are the hydrating, which is simple, nice hydration, which plump up and brighter your skin. Hydrating toners are made to compensate the stripping effects of harsh face washes or soap bars that we used to use earlier to bring pH balance to the skin. It would also add hydration to the skin and would also take excess dirt off the skin. But now the days are gone when we used to get harsh face washes. Now even our moisturizers help us balance the pH of the skin. You don't have to necessarily invest in a toner. Then why must I show you the hydrating toners? Well, I have my reasons. My very first reason is that it gives that extra hydration to my dry face. Second is, let's say we get hard water and I'm sure most of us do. So the hard water deposits that get left behind on the face after using water can be removed from the toner. And the third is very important one. I feel like a damp skin. If you put something, it absorbs better. So your serum that you put after your toner, it makes it penetrate better. So it becomes very important for anybody to invest in the right toner, which has the right key ingredients. And the ingredients that you're looking at is ceramides, niacinamide, aloe vera, glycerin. Um, the one that I'm showing you has chamomile in it. So make sure whichever toner you are buying has those ingredients in it. Now let's find out about the products that have impressed me the most as far as toners are concerned. So the first brand I want to show you is a brand called Dauphin. It's a French brand and I love French products. Their formulations are amazing. You can't really beat them. So this Dauphin is uh, intra toner with chamomile base. Now chamomile, as we know, is good for sensitive skin. Now sensitive doesn't mean sensitive, sensitive skin, but also sensitive, you, your skin becomes sensitive when you take facials, when you do peels at home. So when I go for laser facials, which I go very often, I like to use this one. I carry it in a bottle and I decant it here. I take my cotton pad and I use it post my facial. Let's say, you, let's say you're doing a home peel or you're going to a doctor's clinic for a peel. Your skin does become sensitive. This comes really handy. This is a fantastic product, chamomile based. Now the second brand again is a French brand called La Roche Posay. You must have heard of this brand. And if you've not, then you must give this brand a shot. Not just this toner. In fact, every product from La Roche Posay is fabulous. You must give it a shot. Now today we're discussing Cerozinc. Now Cerozinc is zinc sulfate based. Zinc sulfate, zinc as you know, controls your acne. If you have blemish prone skin, acne prone, it will control your acne. It's amazing for oily skin. And even for regular, you know, if you have sensitive skin, oily skin, or just a normal skin, all skin types can use it. You must give it a shot. It comes in a spritz bottle though. Um, I'm not a big fan of spritz. I, I like to use, um, because it doesn't, I feel it doesn't evenly spread out on the face. So what I do is I take a cotton pad, spray it on the cotton pad, and then I apply it all over the face. And it does say on the bottle, avoid using it on the eyes. And I feel sometimes when I spray it on the face, it does go in my eyes. So just to avoid that and to spread evenly, use a cotton pad. So the third brand I want to show you is again a French brand. <laughs> I guess we established the fact that I love French products. 
is called Avian. Now this one is Simple Hydrating Mist. Um, I like to use it more on the makeup than below makeup, you know. Um, it's very hydrating. Of course, like I said, I like to use it on cotton pool, but after makeup you can't. But the spray, it, the spray is pretty even, you know. If you, if I can actually show it on the camera, I'm not too sure if it's visible, but it's spread out evenly on the face. You don't really, it's very tiny, tiny molecules spread all over your face. It will set well on your skin over makeup. The fourth brand I want to show you is a brand called Body Shop and it's a vitamin E facial mist. It does the same job like the Avian I just showed you. So I switch between the two. Sometimes I use um, vi uh, vitamin E body shop or sometimes I use Avian facial mist over my makeup. Now this one is an instant pick me up and it refreshes the skin immediately. And like I said, over my makeup, it feels beautiful on the skin. And the last one I want to show you is from an Indian brand called For Essentials Rose Water Facial Mist. Now you can't go wrong with rose water guys and all the brands that I've showed you today have got no nasties in it. They are pure water based toners. Now this one is beautiful again if you feel dry or just to refresh your skin. Rose water does magic as we know. Just spray it all over your face and feel good. That's all about today's video and the products I wanted to show you. So all the products links will be in the description box below in case you want to purchase it. It's neither affiliated nor sponsored. The very reason why I share the link is for your convenience. So go ahead, click on the link and buy the products if you want to. But like I said, you don't necessarily have to invest in a toner. It's just an instant pick me up. Sometimes it makes me feel good. So I buy it and sometimes it refreshes my skin when I feel very dull. So sitting on a couch when you feel a little dull, the skin is feeling dry, spray on the face and feel good about it. And that's all about toners can do to your skin. I hope you enjoyed watching my video guys. And if you did, do give my video a thumbs up. And do write to me in the comment section below, either here or on my Instagram or on Facebook, anywhere you like, as what would you like me to discuss next. I would like to make a video on your request. So as usual, I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay tuned and stay healthy. Bye.